Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. Today we have a very exciting new release in the Unify console offering. I'm happy to introduce the new Cloud Gateway Max. The Cloud Gateway Max is a Unify Cloud Gateway that gives us the full Unify experience. It includes Unify Network, Unify Protect, Unify Talk, Unify Access, and Unify Connect. It offers full 2.5 gigabit networking. We have one 2.5 gigabit WAN, and we have four 2.5 gigabit LAN ports, which one of those is remappable to a WAN so we could do failover. When we have suspicious activity turned on, the IPS, we get 1.5 gigabits per second routing. The Cloud Gateway Max has a pre-installed 512 gigabyte SSD module for our Unify Protect camera storage. In the future, there will also be other storage options, including no storage, one terabyte or two terabyte. Even though the Cloud Gateway Max is a very small device, it packs a pretty good punch. It can manage 30 plus Unify devices and have 300 plus clients. This is more than enough for a home environment or a small business. Now the recommendation for the amount of cameras that we have on Protect are 15 HD, 8 2K, or 5 4K cameras. There will be a floating mount accessory coming out in the future that's similar to the Unify Express mount. It's that magnetic mount that we could stick onto the wall. The UCG Max comes in at a very good price point of $279 USD MSRP. Now that we've gone through some of the specs and seen the device, let's get it set up. For the initial setup, I'm gonna use my computer. You could also use the Unify Network app on your phone, which is quite a bit easier. It will just sync up through Bluetooth on your account. But we're just gonna to go to 192.168.1.1, which is the IP of the Gateway Max. Okay, and we can see we are now in the login page for the Unify Cloud Gateway Max setup. I'm just gonna leave it at UCG Max and press next. If you don't already have a Ubiquiti account, you could create one here or you could do local only. I already have a Ubiquiti account, so we're gonna sign in. Now it ran a speed test for us and this is using my coax cable, which doesn't do a full gig. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna switch it to my Bell connection, which does three gig up and three gig down, just so that we could test out the speeds when we have our IDS or our IPS on, and then we'll press next. We're now through the initial setup of the UCG Max, and we can see that the network needs an update. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna update that. I'm also gonna install all of these applications. So protect, access, talk, connect, and inner space, just to see how it handles when we're doing our speed test but our CPU shouldn't be too bad as there's not gonna be a lot of devices on this. So let's go ahead and install them all. Now we're at the dashboard for the UCG Max and it looks pretty well the same as any other Unify OS. We have our traffic identification, we have Wi-Fi technologies, we have our most active clients. On the left-hand side, we could see my WAN connection settings. Right now, I don't have intrusion prevention or detection on, so let's test the speeds here. I'm gonna press run now. And we are getting 2.1 down and we are getting 2.3 up, which is really close to that 2.5 gigabit per second. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn the IDS and the IPS on. So I'll go to the settings wheel and we'll go to security. Under this, they call it intrusion prevention. We're going to want to turn this to advanced and I'm going to set it on high and then apply the changes. I'm also going to create a couple other networks and put it in here so that we have a bit of strain on the system. Now I created a bunch of different networks you can see here, camera talk access, and then I just go up to the number 11. And I'm just showing you this because we could only have 10 networks under the intrusion prevention. If we have an 11th network, that won't be able to be under that. I'm gonna save it under the 10. Once we apply the changes, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna do that speed test. But you do notice here that we do have a warning. In case of reduced speeds or performance, decrease the selected numbers to three or less. A maximum of 10 networks can be selected. We're probably not gonna see a huge speed difference as I don't have a ton on this network right now. We have a switch and a couple cameras. So your mileage is gonna vary, but let's go ahead and we're gonna run that speed test again. And now with the intrusion prevention on, we have 2.0 down and we have 2.3 up. So that was pretty close to when it was turned off. The next thing that we're gonna look at is remapping the LAN port to be a WAN port. You could see under my internet settings, we have our internet sources and WAN2 is currently disabled. So we need to have it on port four, that's our secondary WAN. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna enable that. I'm gonna plug in my secondary ISP and then we'll test how quick the failover is. I now have both WAN connections in the UCG Max. We can see secondary WAN 192.168.50.150. I'm gonna bring open to command prompt and we're gonna ping 1.1.1.1. .1 .1 .1 .1. And 
and then we're going to do a dash T. I'm going to press enter and then I'm going to run over to the UCG max and unplug the primary and we see how quickly the failover works. So let's press enter. I unplugged the primary, so our secondary should be taking over in just a second, and you could see that we only dropped one packet. The failover in these devices is really, really good. Not only do we have failover with the UCG Max, we also have load balancing. We could see this other radio button that says distributed. If we click on that, it's going to show us different percentages. Right now, I have a 99% going out my WAN 1 and only 1% going out my WAN 2. But if we wanted, we could do it 50-50. I typically always have mine just set to failover only. That works perfectly for me and my clients, but I'm glad the option is there. And the last thing we're going to take a quick look at is Unify Protect. You can see right on the page, it says introducing smart detections for person detections, vehicle detections, and then we have more detections like facial and license plate reading. We want to have smart detections enabled, so we're going to press enable smart detections. We're now on the Unify Protect dashboard, and I have three cameras plugged in, one 4K and two 2K. If we hover over the camera capacity, it's going to tell us how much more we could have on. So we could have eight HD, we could have four 2K, or we could have two more 4K cameras, which is really great. We'd also see how long it would record for. But as I just set this up, we don't have an estimate. I wouldn't assume that it's gonna to be too long if we're doing 24 seven recording. With a device like this, where we don't have a ton of storage, what I would probably set my cameras to is to be events only. And then I would scroll down and choose what I'd want it to record. I probably wouldn't wanna have animals recording because there's really no point in that, but I would wanna have people and vehicle. This is the full Unify Protect OS, so we're going to be able to do anything that we could do on a UNVR, which is great. And that's going to be it for my video on the UCG Max, and what do I think of it? Well, I think this is a really good new addition to the Unify Cloud Gateways. I believe this will be a top seller as it's compact and runs the full Unify stack. Having the ability to add 30 plus Unify devices and 300 plus clients will fit a need for my small business customers. Let me know down in the comments below what you think of the Cloud Gateway Max. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.